Now in this last part of the question then, we're told that we've got to find the coefficient of friction, which is mu between the particle and the plane. And to do a problem like this, we know that the work done against friction, we worked it out in the previous part, was 30.48 joules. And it's this that we're going to use in order to find mu. Essentially what you do is you think of the particle, let's just say somewhere between where it was at rest here and at 4 meters per second. And we need to draw on the forces that act on the particle as it slides down this rough plane. Those forces are going to be, for instance, the weight is going to be acting downwards, 0 0.6 g newtons. There'll be a normal contact force, let's call that r, r newtons. And there'll be the frictional force acting back up the plane, opposing motion as the particle slides down the plane. And that frictional force, f newtons, well it would have reached its limiting value because it's sliding, so it's going to be equal to mu r newtons. So essentially what we're going to do, I'll just give you an overview here so that you might want to pause the video and carry on with the problem. But essentially what we're going to look at is that the work done by the friction here is going to be the force times the distance, mu r times the distance here, 12 meters. And I'm going to equate that work done with the 30.48. And we should be able to find out what mu is. Okay, but you're going to need to find out what r is first of all, because it's used in this part of the equation. Okay, so might be enough just to give you a hint on how to do this. So just pause the video if you want to and come back in a few moments and I'll carry on. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you got on if you did have a go. Well, as I mentioned earlier, we need to find out what R is first of all. And to do that, we've got to consider resolving perpendicular to the plane. So in the usual way, if we inserted a dotted line in there, this angle in here would be 30 degrees. We'll just mark that in there. And so if we do resolve perpendicular to the plane, taking outwards as positive, we would have all of R minus the component of the weight into the plane, which is going to be minus 0 0.6 g cos 30 degrees. And that equals zero, okay? Because the frictional force is perpendicular to this line of action here. And there's no resultant force. So that means that R is equal to 0 0.6 g cosine of 30 degrees. And if you work that out, you end up with R equaling 5.09222 and so on. Okay, Newtons. So now that we've got R, we can think about that work done against friction. Okay, we know that the work done against friction is 30.48. Let's just put that down as work done against friction. Okay, well it's equal to 30.48, but also it's equal to the force F, which is mu r times 12. So we've basically got F multiplied by 12. But F is mu r, so we've got mu multiplied by the 5.09222 and so on, and that's multiplied by 12. So we know the work done against friction, it's the 30.48. So essentially, to get mu, mu equals 30.48 divided then by the 5.09222 times 12. So I'll put the 12 first here, multiplied by the 5.09222 and so on. 
Now if you work that out, what you should find you get is 0 0.4987 and so on. Okay? And if you round it say to two decimal places, that's going to be 0 0.50 to 2 dp, two decimal places. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea and if you did have a go and got it right, well done. Alright?